Tyler here with GP Knives, and today we're going to take a look at the new Benchmade Outlast. Now, this may look like your standard Benchmade, but it does have some unique features. It functions on the new option lock, which is very similar to the axis lock in the way it operates, but it has an internal detent. So I'll show you here. You disengage the lock, you pull the lock back just like the axis lock. Nice, easy one hand closure, but cannot deploy the blade by pulling the lock back and using gravity. But that is so you are able to deploy both blades independently. So it's got two blades on here. You've got a TPM 3V blade in full serrations with a flat pry tip and an asymmetrical grind. So this is gonna tear through fibrous materials and use that flat tip to pry. And overall, it's just gonna be a very durable blade given the asymmetrical grind. Black Cerakote finish, same on the Utility Drop Point Blade, which is made of S30V. So a well-balanced all-round stainless steel. You're gonna have Great edge retention on this, good corrosion resistance and durability. Not at the level of the 3V, but for just general cutting tasks, this is going to be very nice. Thumb stud deployment on the S30V blade, and then you have the oval hole for the 3V blade. Construction of the handle is pretty straightforward for Benchmade. You've got some 3D textured and contoured black G10 over black oxide stainless liners. You've got an FRN backspacer with a carbide glass breaker. And then you have a belt cutter or web cutter that operates on a detent mechanism as well. So a great rescue knife, all around utility knife for emergency personnel and first responders. You've got a deep carry stainless steel pocket clip that is set up for a left or right hand tip up only carry. So this knife is fully ambidextrous. So great all around functionality on this knife. The dual blades do make it a bit heavier than most knives, but we'll bring in a couple of others here. So you can see fairly similar in overall size to the paramilitary two. You're going to get a thinner blade stock thickness on both of the blades. So we'll close that down, open up the 3V blade. You can see both blades are a bit thinner. The overall functional grip area, if I can get this open, a little tricky with the left hand on that blade. You can see the cutting edge is gonna be very similar. Functional grip area is also gonna be similar. The footprint, as is usually the case, is going to be a bit smaller in the height. Overall thickness on these two is actually pretty close. And that is very nice considering that these liners are not skeletonized while the PM2s are. So really where you're going to see the biggest difference here is in the weight. Fair amount heavier for the two blades, but that's to be expected there. And... Lay that out here and we'll take a look at that with the ultra lightweight bailout, another black class model from Benchmade. And the bailout also has a 3V blade, just the single Tonto blade here. But you can see the overall dimensions are going to be pretty comparable. The major difference here you're going to see is that the bailout is going to be much thinner almost the same thickness as just the liners on this one. And then of course, with the GTX handle on the bailout, you're gonna have a much lighter weight. And then of course, the single blade on that as well, it's gonna help to reduce the overall weight. And here you can see the outlast in my pocket. The deep carry stainless steel pocket clip has a black oxide finish that's nice and discreet, puts almost the entire knife below the line of the pocket, which is nice because it does have a slightly thicker footprint in the pocket. 
still allows for relatively easy access, but most likely with this knife, you will be carrying it independently to have fast access in emergency situations. The knife deploys fast and smooth on phosphor bronze washers, and both blades deploy equally fast for use in emergencies. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and the new Benchmade Outlast, a dual blade option lock folder. You can check it out now at gpknives.com. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, like the video below, subscribe to our YouTube channel feed, and follow us on social media for updates on all new products.